हेलो माय डियर लिस्टर्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द कपिल गुप्ता करियर पॉड शो वेयर वी एक्सप्लोर टॉपिक्स दैट हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड लाइफ बेटर एंड नेविगेट योर जर्नी विद मोर क्लैरिटी एंड टुडे वी आर डाइविंग इनटू अ फैसिनेटिंग सब्जेक्ट व्हाई डू डिफरेंट पीपल रिएक्ट डिफरेंटली टू द सेम सिचुएशन नाउ यू मे हैव नोटिस्ड दिस इन योर ओन लाइफ टू पीपल फेसिंग द सेम चैलेंज बट द रिएक्शंस couldn't be more different now one might stay calm while the other loses his cool now one might see failure as a stepping stone while another might feel defeated but why is that what drives these differences in our reactions and how can understanding this help us lead better lives stay tuned because this episode is packed with insights that could change the way you perceive others and yourself Hello all I'm Kapil Gupta founder of Study Abroad Academy I am on a mission to coach and mentor 100,000 high school students and help them realize the dream of studying in the best universities of the world and build happy and successful careers for themselves Now let's get started as I've already said that today's episode will give you insights that could change how you see yourself and others forever The so number 1 people react differently to stressful situations yes stress is a universal experience but the way we respond to it can vary greatly for some stress acts as a motivator pushing them to perform better for others it can be paralyzing leading to anxiety and even health issues the difference often boils down to our upbringing personality traits and previous experiences For instance someone who has been exposed to high pressure situations from a young age may develop a resilience that allows them to handle stress with ease on the other hand someone who has always been shielded from stressful scenarios may find it overwhelming now let's think of stress as a storm some people see the dark clouds forming and instinctively open an umbrella they have learned how to shield themselves from the rain others might panic get trenched and struggle to find shelter but why is that it often comes down to how we have been conditioned to deal with pressure now think about medical professionals in a high pressure emergency room doctors and nurses regularly deal with life and death situations but their training and experience allow them to stay calm and focused compare this to someone in an office job who suddenly faced with tight deadline while the pressure might not be as extreme their lack of experience with high stress situations could cause anxiety and panic understanding that stress management is a skill and like any skill it can be developed it can help people cope better in stressful scenarios number 2 people react differently to failures failure is one of those things that everyone experiences but reacts to in wildly different ways some people see failure as a minor setback a bump in the road that can be smoothed over with persistence and learning but others view it as a dead end causing them to lose confidence and give up the difference in these reactions often lies in a person's mindset people with a growth mindset believe that their abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work and dedication for them failure is a learning opportunity a chance to refine their approach and try again on the other hand people with a fixed mindset believe that their abilities are static and unchangeable for them failure is proof of their limitations leading to a fear of trying again now let's consider a situation two entrepreneurs who both launch startups that fail entrepreneur a views the failure as a stepping stone an opportunity 
to learn from their mistakes and do better in their next venture. Entrepreneur B, however, takes the failure personally and decides they're not cut out for entrepreneurship, giving up on their dreams. The key takeaway, developing a growth mindset can transform how you view failure, turning it from a stumbling block into a stepping stone. Now take an example of two students who fail the same exam. Student A reflects on their mistakes, seeks extra help and comes back stronger in the next exam. Student B, however, feels disheartened, loses motivation and might even consider dropping out. Now the difference in reaction can often be attributed to their mindset, whether they possess a growth mindset or a fixed mindset. A growth mindset encourages resilience, viewing challenges as opportunities to learn, while a fixed mindset can make failures feel like insurmountable obstacles. With this, we come to point number three. People react differently to like road rage cases. Ah, road rage. A situation we have all either experienced or witnessed. Two drivers are cut off in traffic. One takes a deep breath, perhaps muttering under their breath, but ultimately stays calm and continues driving. And the other driver, however, starts honking, shouting and tailgating the car that cut them off. What causes such drastically different reactions? Now, the answer often lies in a person's perception of control. People who react calmly to road rage incidents typically recognize that they can't control other drivers' actions. Instead, they focus on what they can control, their own reactions. On the flip side, people who react aggressively often feel that they've lost control of the situation and their frustration manifests as rage. With this, we come to point number four. People react differently to criticism. Criticism, yes, whether constructive or not, is something we all face. But our reactions to it can differ dramatically. Yes, it can be a tough pill to swallow. But how we react to it says a lot about our mindset and self-perception. Some people welcome criticism as constructive feedback, using it as a tool to improve themselves. Others take it personally, seeing it as an attack on their character rather than an opportunity for growth. Imagine two employees who receive critical feedback from their boss. Now, employee A listens to the feedback with an open mind, asks questions for clarity, and implements the suggestions to improve their performance. Employee B, however, feels hurt and defensive, questioning their abilities and losing motivation. Now, difference in their reactions often stems from their self-esteem and belief in their ability to grow. The key to handling criticism lies in separating the feedback from your sense of self-worth. Recognizing that criticism is often meant to help you grow rather than tear you down it can change how you respond to it. Remember, constructive criticism is a gift that can propel you forward if you embrace it with the right mindset. And with this, we come to the last one, point number five. People react differently to success. Success is something we all strive for. But surprisingly, people can react very differently to achieving it. While some people celebrate their success and use it as a motivation to keep pushing forward, others downplay their achievements, feeling unworthy of the recognition. Now, this reaction can often be attributed to something called imposter syndrome. Now, what's that? People who experience imposter syndrome doubt their accomplishments and fear being exposed as a fraud, even when they've worked hard for their success. Now, they may feel that their success is due to luck or external factors rather than their own abilities. Now, let's consider two entrepreneurs who launched successful businesses. Entrepreneur A celebrates their achievement, sharing their success story with pride 
Entrepreneur B, however, feels uncomfortable with the attention, questioning whether they truly deserve the success. Now, this difference can be attributed to self-confidence and internal beliefs about worthiness. So, Entrepreneur B might benefit from working on their self-perception to fully embrace their accomplishments. Now, think about a student who graduates at the top of their class. While one student might proudly celebrate their achievement and feel confident about their future, another student might feel anxious, fearing that they won't live up to the other's expectations in the future. Now, the latter might struggle to enjoy the success because of, once again, this imposter syndrome. So, the lesson here is that it's important to recognize and celebrate your achievements. Success isn't just about reaching a goal. It's about acknowledging the hard work and effort that got you there. Embracing your success with confidence can help you build momentum for future achievements. So, why do different people react differently to the same situation? The answer lies in a complex interplay of our past experiences, personality traits, emotional intelligence, and even our beliefs about ourselves and the world around us. By understanding these differences, we can develop more empathy towards others and also work on improving our own reactions. Whether it's dealing with stress, failure or success, recognizing that we all have a unique ways of coping can lead to better communication, stronger relationships and a more harmonious life. So if you have questions, suggestions or just want to say hello, feel free to reach out. I am here to help and engage in meaningful conversations with you. Now there is a link in the description of the podcast that can help you connect with me. And I would like to welcome all my dear listeners to connect with me on my Instagram every Sunday at 10 a.m. in my program Open House with Kapil Gupta. So join me on Instagram Live to have a heart-to-heart talk. So thank you for tuning in to the Kapil Gupta Career Pod Show. And if today's episode made you reflect on your own reactions or helped you understand others better, don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's continue this journey of growth and self-discovery together. So until next time, stay mindful and keep evolving. But just wait, ever wondered how your next reaction could shape your future? So stay tuned for next episode where we explore how small changes in mindset can lead to big life transformations.